Hi, I'm Laura with Recentrics by Laura. Welcome to Thursdays at 3, only not. We had so many issues yesterday, we transferred it to Fridays at, what time is it right now? 3.39. We transferred it to Fridays at 3.39. That doesn't really flow as well, does it? But here we are, and thank you so much for being patient. Thank you so much for waiting, and thank you so much for joining us. So let us know where you're watching from so we can say hello. And today we are doing dining sets. But, well, dining sets. But before we do that, we're going to do our customer creations winners. We've got two. The first one is can you get it okay see Aaron Perry a couple things about this one pick this because the pots were so insanely cute look how much cuter when they're painted and distressed what are you whispering about behind my back huh? what? what are you whispering about behind my back no nothing oh yeah right okay <laughs> really really cute also she is from Texas and also do what Okay, great. Also, she is from Texas, and she just now came by to say hello. She was up here for her son's wedding and took time out of that kind of schedule to come by and say hello, which meant a lot to me. Thank you, Erin. So, $35 credit. When you place your next order, just say, got a $35 credit, and we may or may not refund it. No, just kidding. Oh, that reminds me. If you have placed an order when we did our 30% off that um, crashed our website and almost ruined our lives, but we're so, so grateful. Um, if you have not yet received your refund, be patient. We are still working on those. You've done almost all of them, haven't you? We ran out of money. <laughs> we, <did not> out. <laughs> we are still working on the refunds. Most of them have been extended, but also you got to remember that even once we post the refund, the bank likes to suck your money out of your account a whole lot faster than they like to put it in, so give it a, a little bit of time. But if you haven't received it and you're worried, just call Jill. <laughs> there's only like 15 or 20 left. Oh, there's only about 15 yeah. of you that he's not really cared enough about to do your refund. So <laughs> those will be coming. But um, call Jill, 770-366-1852. She will help you. She can check and see if it's been extended. And she's excited for all of you to call on Monday. So you can just call and say hello. That would make her day. Should okay. be done this weekend. <clears throat> Next, customer creation. Look at this. Okay, not sure I would have even tackled that. Stunning possibilities, but it looks like a lot of work. Are you ready for this after? Dun, 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 dun. This is Becky White. She deserves hearts all over that screen. Ready? Ta-da! Can you believe that? Look how phenomenal. She had to take it apart. She put burlap in the back. It is absolutely stunning what she did. Great, great, great job. And you got a $35 credit. Just let us know next time you place an order. So, there we go. Customer creations and... We're ready to do a dining set. You will need a dining set. <laughs> you will need prep, paint, glaze if you want to glaze. We're not glazing today. And we are stain topping the top of the table. So look at this right here, Katie. Show them the color of this. And then skillfully swing around to the finished dining set so they can see the change in color with the stain top on the top. Ready? Skillfully swinging? Skillfully swing. Dun, da, da, da. That's with two coats of stain top on there. So that's what we're going to do first. And you tell him how prep. much you love your husband because of that fan he got you. Yes, I don't know if any of you saw it, but I did get an I love you present. Do you what? What'd you say? You got back to her good gracious. She posted it in Facebook. I did put it on Facebook. Not everybody may have seen it, but I got a fabulous, humongous turbo prop fan for my bedroom, which I love. So that means I love Tom again. It was sketchy there for a while. It sounds okay. like you're still a little out of breath, maybe. No, no, I'm fine. Okay, so <laughs> spray it on. <laughs> and I actually talked to one of our fabulous retailers this week who said she was talking to somebody about their cabinets and they had a little bit of trouble with things sticking. Her suggestion that she tells people, and she is absolutely right, and I should say it more often than I do, a lot of times what I'll say is spray the prep on, let it sit, and then wipe it off. Spray the prep on, scrub. If they're kitchen cabinets, scrub them. There's nothing wrong with using a green scrubby pad. I'm just using paper towels today because I'm not really doing what she said, but it was a fabulous tip. Thank you, Julian. So, we're gonna. Question. Oh, what's the question? Already? You have a comment from Cindy. She wanted. She said that she got a dining room table for the first day. Her daughter's still cleaning out polish remover on it, and of course the finish lifted right up. So she's very invested to see what happens. Oh, I thought she meant with stain top. I'm yeah. like, oh, she um, needs to just. So your question is, uh -huh. can you stain top over refund junk paint, or do I need to sand it first? You're not gonna get. You're not gonna get the look. The the question is, can you stain top over the paint? You can put stain over the paint. We have people that do that, but then it acts more like a glaze. That actually wasn't as dirty as I thought it was. The table was dirtier than the leaf, but people don't really use the leaves all the time anyway. So, um, so you can. Sorry, I'm kind of mumbling, right? So you can use it, but it's not going to look the same. If you want the wood to show through, you're going to have to sand it. But the beauty of this is we did not sand this and the wood's going to show through. That's the wonderful thing about the stain top product. With a traditional stain, you got to sand everything down. With this, not so much. Um, let me make sure it's dry before I put the stain top on. 
That's it. No. That'll help. No, it's hungry. We could get a fan out. All right. So we're going to use Raven Black Stain Top, which is what's on the other one. Katie, would you like to skillfully swing around again? Yes. Okay. It's not, it doesn't come off real black, 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 black. That to me, I like, actually, yeah, we'll do that in a minute. I like the way the black looks on that because it's not a real deep, harsh black, but it covers it really well. So I'm just going to use a brush. Now I had somebody else call me. It's kind of like I was on trial last night saying they saw a video where I had used a stain pad and wiped the stain off. I didn't wipe the stain off. I do have a video out there where I have um, used the stain pad to smooth the brush strokes, but I did not mind brush strokes on this. And usually I don't. I find myself not using the stain pads as much as I used to because I'm can going to the color the Raven Black. And you can see that it's black when I put it on. See, Katie, see how it's black? I see how it's black. So you see that it's black. And see, I'm not being real careful. I'm just kind of getting it everywhere to start with. And one more time. So yes. Raven Black. Raven Black stain top. We have three colors. Raven Black, Weather Gray, Dark Walnut. This is the Raven Black. Okay, so now I've got it everywhere. So now I'm just going to smooth it with my brush. Because i got a lot of wood grain going on with this and knots and all that. And so I'm fine with it being a little rustic, which it will be. Do what? Did you say watch your edges? No, Are you I did telling not. me what to do? <laughs> I was talking to Katie. Just for the fact. Just pour the stain top on top. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, got too, a little too much on my brush, so I'm putting that off on this little paper plate, this fancy paper plate I'm working with. And I'm going to keep on smoothing it. And Tom's right. I need to do something at the edges. But I'm not stressed. Look how peaceful. Oh, but look, I have hooker lips on. I forgot today that I what? did. Oh. That's all I had with my lipstick was my hooker lips. No. <laughs> what? No, say that. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Okay. It might be offensive to those who are. Nobody knows what color it is. In that profession. Oh. Because oh I'm sure. You are so funny. I'm sure that's what a lot of people that are watching today do in their spare time. Okay. That's a full time. All right. Here we go. So we're smoothing out the edges that were stressing Tom. You know what? Then you can do your own. <laughs> All right, and now I'm gonna come along and get the edges. Anybody, you're getting a lot of hearts and smileys okay, and thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, now I got the edges. It's gonna self-level. The bubbles will go away. It'll all be fabulous in just two minutes. Okay. And the edge here. Can I suggest to the men to, if they want to improve their marital life, to get their wives a turbo prop fan? Buy their fan, their wives a fan and um, take a nap. I'm not sure everyone wants a fan, but it worked for me. Okay, that's our first coat. We're going to let it dry. When, ooh, while it dries, what? Ooh. Well, I didn't want it to fall over. Just push it to the edge there. Another question. Oh, another question, yes. Does if I had raw pine, I need to try my first? If it's raw wood, you do not. Do you have to prime if it's raw wood? No. I mean, prime prep. You don't have to clean. You don't have to use the prep if you're doing raw wood. Um, you don't have to prime ever, but you don't have to prep with raw wood. Okay. So, look at the chairs over here. Katie will show the before and after. I'm not going to go through painting the chairs. I'm just going to show you the before and after so you can see what a big difference it makes. You can go over here. Um, <clears throat> if I go closer, she's going to get a butt shot. There's several people out there with no. bets on this right now. So, yeah, are, before and after. It's up to $30, I believe. $30? That's a little <laughs> offensive that that's all my butt would go for is $30. <laughs> <laughs> we go by the pound, it really ought to go for more than that. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so we've got a before and after painted. There's nothing tricky about that. We prepped them and put two coats of paint on them and then recovered the seats. So, what I'm going to do is show you come over this way, Katie, and we'll recover the seat on one. Um, can you move that out of the way for the fan all the time? Why, yes, dear. Thanks, that'd be lovely. Yes, dear. Now, if you have any upholstery skills whatsoever, if you have any standards of excellence whatsoever, if you are at all OCD, if you own a business where you cover anything for any reason, you'll want to pause, turn your face away, avert your eyes, whatever, because I do this the way that it's easy and works for me, not probably the way a professional upholster would do it. Usually takes about a half a yard of fabric for a chair seat. And we're going to put it about in the middle. What color did you use on the chair? Oyster. I love oyster. 
Okay, oyster is the color on the chairs and the table base. Okay, let me sketch over here so you can see. Oops, we already got same top on fabric, but this is a pretend one anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna do this side first. Okay, then I'm gonna pull it really tight. Aaron just tuned in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing this on vacation. That's some dedication. You want a prize, Aaron? You should watch the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, oh Jill, yeah, can you refund can you refund a table that has leaves that fold down in the middle? Yes, you can. Well, I'll put this the wrong direction. Okay, this is gonna be tricky on camera. I messed myself up. Okay, so what you're gonna do next is pull this diagonally. Pull the corner diagonally. Okay, and staple it. I should be trimming all that, but I'm not. Wait, I need to okay. See, really with me, it really is just a ish. Is everything is ish, yes. Okay, then once I do that, then I can pull this side up and make a square. Just a happy little accident. Not this week. Bob Ross is not here this week. Okay, so this time, we're going to again go diagonally with it. Okay, so once I go diagonally, then I can take this piece, pull it straight, and then this corner comes up here. I'll do it this direction. This corner comes up. And pull it straight, pull it nice and tight, because that's what gets the wrinkles out of the fabric that you didn't iron. <laughs> so you may have ironed, I did not. Okay, same here, we're going diagonally. So when you do your first row of staples, don't go all the way to the end, leave yourself room to do that. Then pull this over the top, bring this corner up, Ooh, look, I pulled it off. Just enough fabric. Okay, and then just ease it in on the sides. I know there's probably most of you know how to do this, but we have a lot of questions on how to cover a seat. So that's why I'm doing it. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Okay, I'm pulling the diagonal. I may not have eyeballed good enough here. Okay, go down this side. And then up here. Oh, just barely. And then the problem is Tom's, when he puts it on the seat, to make sure that it all tucks in right. Not mine, because I got it to flip around. So, those of you who upholster are probably gagging and nauseous, but it's way easy. And if I was doing this not on camera to be really fast to show you how to do it, I would have trimmed all of that. Well, now, when your kids spell jelly, it on was, you don't. Have it was candy. for my own home. I wouldn't trim it. It's for my own home, I would go like that. Whoops so it just doesn't flop down when guests come. Ta-da! Looks fabulous, huh? Isn't that wonderful? Not my face, just the, <laughs> just the chair seat. So, there you go. All right, are we dry on that first coat of stains out, Tom? Uh, probably not. Did you put the second coat? Uh, yeah, I didn't put the second coat. Okay. I did a second coat on the table. Um, don't want, it's not dry? Okay. Uh, well, then don't worry about it. Okay, let me show you. Are you your arm hurt from holding the phone? No, uh, where I got my shot, my arm is super bruised. Katie had to get a shot. She had to get a tetanus shot for can't you? And now her arm hurts. <laughs> She's hardy. Okay, so <laughs> let me just show you another. This is one of my favorite things to do on a dining table, and I stole this idea from my mother, who knows everything there is to know about everything ever. Just a, just a little hook. But they're so fun on the back of a dining room chair. So, we have one. Could you I, the stick on? Oh, no. I guess you could. Oh, I almost got dad picking up. Jill wants ones. to know if you could use the <laughs> hooks that stick on. I don't know. I don't All know. I did was add a hook to the back of the chair. You can put a treat bag. You can put a Christmas stocking in your Christmas. You can put an Easter basket. You can put, Katie, run around to this one. Napkin. Jog on over there. You can put a their napkin. Jill is talking way too much I'm today. Sorry. No, I'm just I kidding. I'm totally kidding. Hey, little name me. plates. I know I did your name because you did the filming. So. <laughs> but it's a really cute little idea. Lunch bag for school the next morning, treat for breakfast, whatever. It's a little love note. But it's a really cute way to individualize chairs. Um, way inexpensive. I think I got six of these at Home Depot for eight bucks. So way, way easy to do. What about y'all? Oh, okay. All right. 
So the only thing we have left, Tom, is the other coat on the dining table leaf. Where'd you go? Katie's doing uh, oh. arm exercises. What, questions? <laughs> oh, what? Question. Okay, so question was, do I need to wash the table with anything prior to staining? Prep. Need to prep it. Spray the prep on. Scrub your table down. Spray the prep on. Wipe your table down. Get all the nasties off. This cleans it really, 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 really well. After you do this, then you're ready to put the stain on. Second part of the question was, can you stain over paint? Can you paint over stain? You can paint over the stain. If you mess up or you don't like it, or uh, then you can paint over that because the paint covers everything. You cannot stain over the paint and still see the wood through, obviously. It'll act more like a glaze. So, are we good? How far does the spray go? How far does the spray go? Way far. <laughs> how far would you say the spray goes, Tom? I mean, I've. You've been using that video. No, I haven't. I've done this dining room table and armoire and one other project. And can you see how much I've used of it, Katie? Mm -hmm. So I've done three big things. The dining set with four chairs. Well, three chairs. I'm going to paint one of them. And someone would like to know if you got the table at the chair and keep it well because she almost got that same table last week. Yes, I did. Why'd she pass on it? <laughs> yes, I did get that at a great thrift store near us. Why'd she pass on that? <laughs> Why'd you pass on it? It's so cute. Now you wish you got it, didn't you? It is really cute. It's a, it's a cute. Yeah, there you go. It's a cute set. It's a lot of fun. Um, okay, so we ready for the, uh, the other coat, Tom? No. One more yes. You're still Painting gonna the see bubble. the bubble. It's not gonna cover a three-dimensional bubble. A, will, can you paint over a bubble in veneer and will it still show? You're still gonna see that. It will cover color-wise, but three-dimensional-wise, you'll still see a little raised spot where the bubble was. If that helps. Monica is on vacation camping deep in the woods and watching. My issue is not that she's watching. My issue is why would anyone camp deep in the woods? <laughs> That's more my question. I uh, just lost a whole lot of respect for Mark. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm right. not hooking up now, a fan deep in the woods. So, what are you saying is going to happen? Tell everybody what you were saying to me. Stain top needs to to harden before you. Is everybody hearing Tom? Do you need to talk more into the microphone, Tom? <laughs> Stain top needs to harden before you put a second coat on. If not, it will do what I call crocodiling, which means it'll crack. She's going to go ahead and do it, but we're right at the edge of what we're supposed to be so doing. So, how long here. would you recommend waiting between coats, Tom? An, an hour, thirty minutes to an hour. Thirty minutes to an hour. Yeah. So Tom recommends waiting thirty minutes to an hour between coats, so you don't get a crocodile effect, which is where the bottom coat continues to dry. As the top coat dries, the bottom coat pulls it and pulls cracks in it. That's a good explanation. Wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, said it backwards. I said it backwards. I'm sorry. Do what? Yes. This is crackle yes. effect. That's All right. Exactly so what we're gonna put another coat on anyway, right, Tom? Yes. Okay. For just for display, <laughs> just for video purposes. I know I don't have a choice. Just for purposes. Well, so you can see what the color goes to. Okay. And again, I'm not being real careful, just like I wasn't before. Just gonna get it on. Yes, you do need to add a top coat. In fact, I'm just gonna go to the chairs. To the chairs. That depends. Are your children disciplined and well behaved, or are they rowdy and animals? Just kidding. Um, I did not on mine. A lot of people do. My thought is it takes me a while to add that coat of tough top. It's not hugely necessary. I would just prefer to touch up the paint in a year if I have to. Oops. Okay. Let's see, I had a hair and I got it. It went somewhere. Okay. Yes, I'm ready for the next question. Tom, that's your area, baby. Well, stain top cover walnut that has heat damage from people not using hot pads or being careful or respecting their furniture in any way. Okay, so I'm Katie, just kidding. Katie, go close here. The problem with stain top is you can see through it. So if you have damage in this area, it's going to show through. So what we suggest you do before you put the main coat of stain top on it, if you have a heated area, put some of the stain top on it to kind of hide it as a blemish. Then when you put the stain top over it, it will look like an age spot. For instance, it would look something more like this. 
where it, it yeah. I'll show you, I'll play it over yeah. here in the corner. Let me show you this too though. See how the wood changes directions here? Here it's going this way, and here it's going this way. There's nothing wrong with following the wood. That's what I did on the tabletop, we'll show you again in a sec. It's too much right there. But again, it just kind of all works. Okay, so if we have a spot right here, you're saying put some right here with a small brush and make something that looks kind of like a knot. Yeah. Let that dry, and then it's covered up this little spot right here, and whatever else was irritating me. And then when we put our next coat on, it'll blend in and look more like a it'll knot, look like more something like, like a that. Knot. Yes. You kind of have so. to be artistic. And the darker you go with the stain, the more it covers. But the more it covers the wood grain too. So you just gotta exactly. decide what look you're going for. And I have another question. Yes. Um, hold on. I'm to get two questions. The first one, they are looking to paint. It will be beautiful, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, um, there, somebody's wanting to start by painting their table. If you, and this is a great solution if you have a lot of damage on your tabletop. I had a need to do what? You didn't do that side. I didn't do that side because I didn't want it to be wet. I was going to put some stain top on that. I oh, mean, some tough top on that. Okay. Um, so, can, if you have a lot of damage on your tabletop, a great idea is to start like this uh, question we just had asked. Who asked it? Someone that knows and loves Paul asked if, <laughs> ask if you could start by painting your piece semi sweet. Yes, you can. I did that with a piece. Look at the ripple videos that are posted on the website. I showed pictures of that where I started. It had a ton of damage and scratches. It was a nasty IKEA table. I painted it semi sweet first, and then I came in and dry brushed the raven black and the dark walnut. The other thing I'm going to suggest is putting just a tiny bit of linen in there. One of the whites, just to make it look a little bit more farmhouse and a little bit more natural, dry brush that. Sand a little bit so that it smooths all the colors and brings them all together. And then put one last coat of your main color of stain top on. Um, yes, two more questions. Okay, and then seal it. Yes. I can't say those are not all the no, I can't. I'm sorry. So I slammed, I slammed hookers in Ikea. I'm sorry. All right. I love hookers in Ikea. It's one of my favorite places to go. Yes. Yeah, that, that, um, yes. Thank you. Does the stain pop self-level? Yes. See, I had bubbles and they're going away. See, Katie, look. <laughs> See how level? The flat top makes your paint job feel smooth. Flat top we do not recommend over the darker colors. So don't put flat top over stain top. What it's going to do is it's going to get rid of all of the sheen. A dining room table needs a little bit of a sheen just to look polished and finished, unless it's like old farmhouse wood, um, and then you can use flat top. But the problem we have is, and if you like the look, that's great, but we have people that call and say it made their table look cloudy. It didn't really go cloudy. It just got rid of any kind of polished look at all, and so it can appear cloudy, the best word. So um, use the um, satin tough top over that. It will not give it a big sheen unless you put seven or twelve coats on. It builds the shine with every coat, so don't put a bazillion coats on. And and put, wait, say something, Tom. Say, come around here and say it, Tom. And if you put tough top on any of the painted surfaces, they do feel slippery. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. So I didn't. I ignored the whole question. The good thing Tom's here for once. Um. Yes. They will make any of our surfaces feel slicker and smoother. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Sorry. Any any more questions? Nope. All right. I wonder if I have, because I said I was going to do it. I wonder if I have any tough top. If it's flat top, it's okay to be wet. Not the yeah, other color. And, yeah, this. this one has. This is another good thing, I'll tell you a little tip. If you have trouble you for. What'd I do? Okay. If you have trouble for some reason with putting your flat top or your stain top on, I mean your, um, what am I looking for? Tough top, sorry, your tough <laughs> top or your flat top on, put a little bit of the paint in it to put your last coat on because that will totally blend. Where's my, okay, I'm looking for a brush, all right. I was having a little moment there where my brain wasn't even firing. Okay, here we go. Same thing as with everything else. That's nature's way of saying don't say it. Is it Tom? Mm-hmm. Something you have a hard time listening to, huh? Okay. I only have this little spot that hasn't already got something wet on it, but that's all you do to apply the tough top and the flat top. Put it on with a brush. Make sure you use enough that it can self level. Don't try to buy one of these containers and flat top or tough top everything in your home. Get enough on there that it can ooze together and self level. 
and don't Jill almost panicked one time. If you're putting it over black, it can sometimes have a blue haze. Don't wipe it all off and call us. Um, number one, we don't really care. No, I'm just kidding. We really, really do. But it can have a blue haze. It dries clear. Don't let that freak you. It has a little bit of a color to it now. It's going to dry clear. So, okay. Another question? No more questions? No more. Okay, fabulous. All right. Do oh, not a problem. Okay, so he's... You don't want the fan on? I'm very cold. Oh. Okay, so are you trying to show that it's going to dry clear? Yes. Tom's trying to show that this is going to dry clear. Not that y'all want to wait around for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and say goodbye and thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Send us pictures of your dining sets. There are some of you out there that have done them that are absolutely phenomenal. Go to our Refund Junk by Laura Q&A page. I'm Ask to join that page. I know, it's the model thing, right? Ask to join that page. We'll add you and then post pictures of what you've done. Number one, it helps inspire others. Number two, we love seeing them. Number three, it's how you enter the customer creations thing so you can win something, win the $35 thing that we pick every week. But it is so much fun to see them and it helps everybody else um, get encouraged and come up with colors for their projects, that kind of thing. So it's a great, great support group. Thank you so much. We are always looking for retailers. Look on our website if you know, um, know where our store next to you is. And Tom just hit Katie. He didn't actually touch hey, I'm me. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was just so to make me look flinch. on the website to find a retailer near you so you can shop there. We do sell online if there's not a retailer near you, and if there's not a retailer near you, you should be one. Thank you so, so much. Sorry about yesterday. Thanks for joining us today. Happy rethinking.